on the scene. I don't know. I'm trying to explain right now to Connor what Vlogmas is because it doesn't. Stop. It's, not even recording. it's recording, Connor. Connor doesn't like this whole like vlogging deal, but that's okay because I'm gonna keep doing it. Do I enjoy it? So we're on the train right now, and we are. He's like getting like a hot flash. He looks like embarrassed because I'm doing this. Okay, so Connor just hit the stop button because he's being a dork. <laughs> So we're on the train right now, and we are going to go see the tree lighting, and it's pretty busy because there was like no parking spots, so um, I guess a lot of people are going. Connor said we have to get frisked or something, which I'm not looking forward to, but I will talk to you guys when I get there. Is that thing off? What? So right now we're in anthropology. I'm like so obsessed with all their stuff. This is where I got my like little teacups from, the um, measuring cups that I have that like a lot of people always ask me. So that's where I got them. And it's super Christmassy. Everything is like super, super Christmassy and so adorable. Connor is like miserable in here right now, but it's like so amazing. close to my face. You dork. Um, so we just got back from the city. Oh, sorry, my hand's in the way. Um, Connor is like on his way home right now and it is 12.15 um, a.m. in the morning, so it's the next day. Um, I really wanted to vlog more in the city, but it was just really hard because it was so loud and I felt like you guys probably couldn't really hear me, so I just showed you guys some, like, clips of some things. And then it got very interesting at one point. Um, so basically when we were, um, we were in Macy's after we went to Victoria's Secret and we were, like, walking around and stuff for a while. Then we realized that it was, like, 5 o'clock and that we wanted to head to the Christmas tree lighting, which was at, um, like, 6, I think. So we decided to start walking, and we ran into all the protesters from the whole, um, like, Ferguson case and stuff. So if you guys know all about that, you guys know how crazy it is. So I was about to have, like, an anxiety attack because, like, there were hundreds of people with signs, like, literally screaming and, like, chanting all these things, and... We literally got caught in the middle of them and like the police were on like intercoms and they're like, you're going to get arrested if you're walking and like it was, it was really scary actually. And um, there was like one point where we literally were like stuck in between people, like we could not move, like everyone was trying to like push their way out of there and we were basically stuck. It was super, super scary and um, I mean, for hours, we literally, we couldn't even get to um, where the tree was because there were just, like, barricades up and there were protesters everywhere. We finally got to a spot where we could see stuff, and then all the protesters are walking. They're, like, chanting all this stuff about how, um, I don't know, something along the effect of how, like, if the cops aren't going to be okay, then people can't enjoy the tree. So they kept chanting, like, no tree, no tree. And it was just, it was kind of sad just because there were so many young kids there 
and you know just like little kids and I just feel like it's not okay to do that to little kids I don't know I obviously don't want to get into this whole thing because um, I feel like it's a very like touchy subject for people but um, needless to say it was pretty interesting and um, I didn't really want to vlog that part just because it, there was it was a lot going on so um, anyway so basically we walked aimlessly for a couple hours like it was really really long and um, we basically just like decided because we were so fed up we were like walking around everywhere just trying to get somewhere like get away from the protesters but they were just everywhere the police they were like okay I don't know where I just left off because Connor just called so it interrupted um, the video because apparently he forgot his hat here but um, I think I was saying that oh we were just like walking around like for like hours like literally hours trying to figure out like where to go because we would finally like, get to a street and like there would just be like police everywhere and everything was blocked off the police had like like all of the police had like bunches and bunches of like um those like plastic handcuffs to like arrest people so it was like like i said super intense so we eventually ended up going to bryant park and we saw like we were just watching people like ice skate and then we walked around to like the little like shops and stuff there. So it turned out to be pretty decent um, of a day. We obviously couldn't see the whole Christmas tree um, lighting and stuff like that. Just because, I mean, it wasn't really like super safe to be there anyway because there were so many protesters everywhere. So it kind of ruined it, but it's totally fine. So um, it's kind of weird right now too because um, my parents took Cutie and Wilbur uh around like three they came over and they picked them up and they brought them to their house because i knew i wasn't going to be getting back till late and i didn't want to leave them home alone so um my parents have them that actually reminds me home alone i need to like put the alarm on but um okay so now it's like gonna start beeping and probably be annoying for you guys to hear but yeah so it's really sad because i'm like literally sitting here alone with no puppies and it's very lonely so i'm really excited to get them back tomorrow my mom's gonna drop them off at like 7 a.m so i'm really excited i think i am going to try to fall asleep i usually can't fall asleep until i know connor's home because like i said he lives almost like an hour away so he's probably not going to get home until like 1 30 ish i'm guessing so i have to probably stay up until then but i think i'm just going to go in my room and just like try to fall asleep. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.